Welcome to Southeast Action News. I'm your host, Jason. A lot of changes have took place in Southeast this year. We've come back to the new 2024-2025 school year with the new administration. We have we have a new head principal, new principals on the seventh day grade hall, while Ms. Gordon is still holding things down on the sixth grade hall. Here's Melanie with our report on our new principal, Ms. Bennett. Ms. Bennett has been at Southeast for over 15 years. She has done everything from teaching to being an assistant principal to being the head principal. I asked her a range of questions concerning Southeast Middle. Good afternoon. A lot of things that I have planned and some of my goals that I have for Southeast Middle is to ensure that we raise our SPS from a 56.2 currently up to at least a 65, 67. Some of my greatest moments are when former students come back to see me or when I'm walking around in the mall or something and someone says, hey, that's Miss Bennett. And I've taught them almost 20 years ago. So that and seeing some of my former students' children come through the school because right now I have one of my former students' daughters here on campus. So those are some of my greatest moments. So I attended two colleges. So I graduated with my Bachelor's of Arts in um, English from Xavier University of New Orleans, which is a historically black Catholic university. It is the only HBCU university that is a Catholic university. And I also graduated from Southern University Law Center. I did not start off in education, I started off in law. So when I got bothered by how things were going with law and some of the things that I saw that I just did not like, I started with education. So this was my, um, this was my second career. And my husband actually asked, why did you, you know, why didn't you do this first? Because this is where your heart is. So this is where my heart is in education. New Year also brings about new teachers and old teachers in new places. For the next few episodes, we will be introducing the new teachers starting on 8th grade hall. It's been a pleasure talking to Ms. Brown. She is our first year social study teachers, and here is what we will talk about. Hi, my name is Tori. I'm here with Ms. Brown. Okay, so how, how many years have you been in education? Two. What college did you attend and what was your major? Southern University, Agriculture and Mechanical College, Political Science. What do you do in your spare time to relax from a long day of teaching? Mm, read a good book. What advice will you give to your eighth graders? Soak in that good middle school life. High school gets a little hard. With the new year comes new worries and fears. Here are a few students talking about those things. My first week of school was good. I met new teachers, and I also made a new made new friends. It, it was it was okay. My first week of school has been great. I cut I caught up with my friends, and I had a fun time meeting my teachers. Uh, pretty good. Miss Brown class, social studies. Probably geometry. Math. The most trouble is math. Uh, how do you feeling about going into high school next year? Um, I feel grateful because I'll be able to uh, graduate and move on and use the skills that I learned here to, in high school. How are you feeling about being in high school next year? I feel good and ready to go. <laughs> My first week of school was okay, and I don't know, I wasn't really too nervous. I was just excited. It's been good, great. It was good. My first week of school was very difficult, but it was easy. I think it would be math. Is math. Why? Math. Why math? My goals for this school year is to get better grades and to get to know new people. My goals for the school year is to just pass and go on to eighth grade. My goal for this year is to do well in classes and to pass.
My first week has been great. My first week of school has been great. My first week been good. The, sub the subject that gives me the most trouble is um, math. Is math. I think math because it is like hard. Nervous. I feel nervous and anxious since I was around different kinds of people with different energies. Thank you for joining us this week on Southeast Action News where it's a great day to be a cougar. See you all next week. Thank you.